Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today I have something important I want to talk to you guys about in the world of jailbreaking. Now, I've touched on this topic a number of times in past videos, but I've never released a dedicated video on it. And it's the number of jailbreak scams going around, particularly related to the latest public version as of recording this video being iOS 13.5.1. So if you're at all confused as to whether there's a jailbreak, just be sure to stick around. But spoiler alert, there is not as of recording this video for the latest version. Alright, so getting straight into this, if you guys want the latest jailbreak status for any version at literally any point in time, just be sure to navigate to jailbreakcheck.com inside your browser of choice. You will then be redirected to our official jailbreak status checker page, which does confirm the status for iOS 13.5.1, which is really what we're talking about right now in today's video, as well as of course iOS 14. And if you guys don't want to miss out when we cover new topics related to jailbreaking and you want to be fully in the loop anytime and every time we talk about jailbreaking, just be sure to click that subscribe button and ding that notification bell. That way you will not miss out. But essentially, for those of you who do not know what I'm talking about, this happens every single time a major jailbreak such as Uncover is patched. Essentially, a number of scam videos will pop up promising you a jailbreak on a currently unjailbreakable firmware. Now, as we've mentioned a number of times here on the channel, iOS 13.5.1 is not jailbreakable via the latest version of Uncover, and that's because the only reason 13.5.1 even exists as an update. Literally, I'm not even kidding. The only reason this screen exists right now is to close or patch the jailbreak. That's all iOS 13.5.1 was ever meant to do. So if you update to it, you will be locked out of jailbreaking. You cannot jailbreak the latest public firmware on the newest devices, only the iPhone 10 and older via checkering. More details on that in your cards right here. But essentially, newer devices are locked out of jailbreaking on 13.5.1. And what these videos, as well as articles, and basically just general scams do is they promise you a jailbreak on an unjailbreakable firmware and they'll state something about downloading an application to get Cydia running on your device. That is the furthest thing from the truth, guys. No single app that you download from the App Store will result in a jailbroken device, no matter how convincing it may look. Sometimes they really go the extra mile to even try to emulate or replicate what it looks like when you're going through the uncovered jailbreak process these guys really take pride in trying to rip you off. Essentially, all they're doing is just wasting your time and potentially compromising the data on your device. See, they use what's known as click fraud to generate ad revenue from app installs from third party or intermediary services that essentially pay publishers. So people who typically have websites and or services or other applications to download apps that are part of their ad network. So literally you guys, you would just be making money for them and potentially jeopardizing your information in the process. Simply do not fall prey to that. I will let you guys know the second a jailbreak is out. So if you're not already subscribed, be sure to do so. And if you don't see a jailbreak, jailbreak tutorial or a jailbreak announcement video here on the channel, then it does not exist. It is as simple as that. Now that is just the most prominent form of jailbreak scam. But like I mentioned, if a real and true jailbreak is released, we're going to be talking about it here on the channel, literally ad nauseum. I'm going to be pumping out videos, letting you guys know what's going on. And uh, as of now, if you want the latest jailbreak status, again, just be sure to visit jailbreakcheck.com or check out our latest jailbreak status for iOS 13. And of course, all the way up to iOS 14, it will be linked in your cards now as well as down below in the description. That's really it for this video. I know it's some basic stuff, but there are questions that I get asked about all of the time, guys. And uh, I hope this helps some of you. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.